No, I'm not. <laughs> Thank you for asking that. Thank you for the laugh, I appreciate it. Okay, so to get up there, we probably need to get some sort of height first. Which would probably be here, right? And then, then like that. And then we fly. Dude, that's so cool. And look at the reflective shiny ice. Wow, so pretty. What's this? Crunchy, more crunchy salt. Mmm, crunchy. I'm pretty tired today. I don't know why, but that's okay. All right, we're about to probably get a cutscene. It's probably about to be battle begin. Hello? Anyone here? Oh, Arceus is calling me. Hey, how's it going? No? Okay. Oh, the eternal ice. That's right. I remember now. We had to get that to go. That's right. Wahaha! Alas, the summit is conquered! And I see you made it too! What's up, dude? Flew down to this place and obtained the eternal ice, did you? What drives that burning zeal of yours, I wonder? To, uh, have friends. I do have to respect the effort you put in. I may still have to have my own doubts weighing in on, on my mind, but I will make the necessary preparations so that you can face my lord, Avalon. Meet at the Ice Park Arena. Okay. I thought we were about to fight and he was like, he was the rock. I thought like, <laughs> that would have been really cool actually for what it's worth. Uh, now, don't try to repeat the wondrous feat you're about to see me perform. A tall like, like this can only be managed by highly toned bodies like mine. Is bro just gonna jump? Bro died. <laughs> I just look down and there's like a blood stain. He's <laughs> just like... <laughs> there's just like items on the ground like in Minecraft. <laughs> that would be fucking hilarious. Alright, here. Look. Look, and you just look down, and there's, like, a pool of, like, diamond armor. Oh, it's Volo. What's poppin'? Why, if it isn't Rusty, what a pleasure finding a familiar face or any face in this cor far corner of the Alabaster Icelands. I came to bring Garrick an order of sword caps, and he was more than willing to have a chat about Avalug. What do you say? Interested in a bit of gossip? Absolutely. From you? Anytime. And why wouldn't you be? So Avalog, yes? The fifth of Hisui's nobles. That he is. And you know what? He's an absolute beast. Well, yes, according to what I was told, not only does he barrage you with chunks of ice, he also fires off massive icicles. And he can cause sharp ice crystals to erupt from the ground below you. Doesn't that seem to be a bit too powerful to take on? What more? What's more, apparently the Avalog of old could be up to 100 feet tall. Doesn't that seem a bit too big to take on? Oh, uh, you'll be all right. You just have to eat some sword caps. Then give your give your training your then give your training your all. Nothing better for building muscle than that. Onward to the arena. Hmm, yes. Well, I did what I want to see that Avalug, but perhaps not at the cost of my life. I suppose my freezing digits and I will be off. Are you sure you don't want to come? I'll protect you. Okay. Great new mechanic added to the game. Makes my life easier, so I can't complain. Didn't mean for that to rhyme. It did. We are to quell Lord Avalug, as you wished. In the end, the strength of your feelings won out. Maybe your real strength comes from the way that you talk, walk among both people and Pokemon. Well, I suppose I'd better be to, better get to work making some bombs using that eternal ice. I've heard how they are made, and with muscles like mine, it'll only be a moment's work. Okay, here we go. Here we go! I'm so bad at these. <laughs> I'm so fucking scared. But I've heard uh, Arcanine's the hardest, so hopefully this won't be too bad. We're doing it. We're gonna lose, but we're doing it. Aw, oh, this is a fucking cool shot. Fucking... Oh, they're so good at the cinematics of this game, too. <laughs> what if you were just really small? Oh. My. God.
it's really okay that's i you know when they always do like that pokemon's really big and then it's like really small this shit's fucking huge how am i to take care of this okay i'll read your message as soon as i'm probably dead oh fuck you fucking okay okay i get it now so i can't Got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, fuck! Okay, I'm learning the attack patterns. I'm looking, learning how it works, right? I'm just learning how it works. So it, I just go back and forth and back and forth. And there's that, too. Okay, so that's a, that, that I just, when he's charging on his back, make sure to run. But now he's going to be bringing back... What looks like a beam of doom? How do I dodge a beam of doom? I don't know how to deal with the beam of doom. I can deal with like these. Right? Like this is easy enough. You just kind of wait it out. And then you go bam. And you go bam. And then you run. So then he does that. And then you go here. And then you go here. And then you wait for the next wave. And now you just run like this dodge just keep dodging oh i got fucking sniped okay so you do that and then you run and then go here and then here and then you just wait it out you can dodge all over the little ice school clouds uh wait hold on oh okay why is he yelling why are you yelling, bro? Oh, that's why. That's why. That's why. My bad. My bad. My bad. Ouch. Oh, I'm gonna fall off. Ow, he double hit me. I wasn't even able to move. That was unfair. Okay, so this part. How do I deal with the laser part? Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. Got it. Makes sense. Hi, Cobb. Yes, I'm battling Avalug. He's really big. It's really scary, but really, really cool. Come on. Oh, fuck. It doesn't want me to throw my Pokemon. Fair enough. Alright. And dodge. And dodge. Okay, so... Okay. Okay, okay. This isn't too bad. I just need to know how to deal with that. Now that I know that I can just jump over it, there's no reason to panic. You know what I mean? Alright, this part's the hard part. The sniper. How do I deal with the sniper? The sniper is the hardest part. Like that. That's really tough. Nope. Okay, then let's do strong. This is battle is easier than Arcanine. Yeah, definitely. The the other one was as well. The um Oh fuck. Well. No. We really should have learned it. We should have... I don't know why I didn't even think about it. We should have used our fire type. Hello, buddy. And... Flame wheel. Go, E-boy. Win. Throw bombs at it. Throw lots of bombs. One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, keep going. All right, here we go. Second half. We've been in the red, so it's like we just can't get hit. We will get. Oh, he's changing his attack. Got it. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. So he's changing his attack. Just don't walk into that. Okay. Got it, I guess. Oh, fuck. Aw, oh, man, I was so close. Alright, let's switch it. Let's get E-Boy ready to go. And we start again. This is fine. 
This is fine. Alright, and he's gonna send out. Yep, 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 yep. While you send out that, I'm gonna throw more. I'm gonna throw more at you. Okay, just keep my eyes in the air. Got it. Okay, I can, now I can see how far away they are. Alright, the laser beam's back. Dodge it. Oh, this is the first clean run! That was the first clean one! E boy, go! Uh, you can roll over the little ice clouds. Oh, I didn't know that. You can still hit him while you were dodging. It just takes a big arc. Uh, and the sniping ice shards are specifically timed. Yeah, I, I get I feel like I get it now. Okay, I don't want him to get two hits on me. Just one. Yeah. Good, good, good. Earth power scary. But that's fine. And take him out. Go, go, go. Get balled on. Nice. Keep throwing, keep throwing, keep throwing, keep throwing. I keep my eyes in the sky. One, two, three, four. Nice. One. Hit, hit, hit. Now he's gonna dodge. It's gonna be. Let's get one more hit in with E Boy. Because E Boy will hit it hard. Alright, E Boy. If this is your last hit, let's do it at strong style. Maybe it'll even one shot. That'd be cool. No. But that, that, that was really good. Good job. And power gem. Nice. Okay, there we go. Oh, he's mad. He angry now. All right. Here we go. The harder version of it now. So you said I can roll over these. Oh, fuck! That makes my life so much easier. I didn't realize I could do that. Because those looked way too tall to just roll over. Alright, now it's like one, two, three, four, and then I just back up here and then stand like here. Then I go here and then keep my eyes in the sky. One, Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, never mind. I got hit by the last one, but that's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then there. And then there. And then there. Oh, we don't even need a Pokemon. We just throw in the remaining balls. Go, 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 go. Yes! We only took one hit! That was our best one yet! That was like our best one ever! Bam! Fucking hit! Aw, oh, that was awesome. We did really good! We took out the mountain. Aw, oh, look at everyone leveling up too! Aw, oh, wow! We did it! We took down the final one! I'm glad you're calmed down, buddy. Thank you, Avalug, for the icicle plate. Garrick, sir, you, do, you didn't look quite so downcast. But seeing Almighty Avalug quelled by such a slight child, a child that fell from the very sky, is this rusty girl some kind of monster in disguise? She's no monster. She's the one who risked her life without a second thought in order to quell our frenzied, suffering nobles. Rusty.
Garrick cares for the Pearl Clan with all his heart and believes in Almighty Sinnoh just as deeply. So he's feared more than any of us that getting involved with the Diamond Clan and your galaxy team could cause our people to flag in their devotion to Almighty Sinnoh. But that will change. Harita? I know your fears will change well, once you see what I've seen. Rusty has much to teach us. She's shown us how we can overcome all manner of strife as long as our Pokemon are with us. She's made me want to help Glaceon realize greater strength as well as see my whole world grow broader. Aw, I'm glad I could help. Seems you've already changed, Dorita. I knew you could pull that off, Rusty. Oh, it's a kid who fucking was rude to me earlier. You quelled every last frenzied noble. So is that space time rift going to start closing up now or what? It's going to get angry now. There's little way of knowing for sure. Though the rift does perhaps seem a little smaller somehow. Let's hope so anyway. Well, with any luck, things will settle down now. Although, even if the rift does start spitting out more of that strange lightning... We should still be able we should still be all right as long as we've got Rusty. Indeed we should be. It's good to have her at our side. You know something, Arita? We may never agree on who's got it right about Almighty Sinnoh, but you Pearl Clan folk aren't all bad in my book. Aw, uh, they're becoming friends. Now we can officially get this three way marriage underway. Anyway, now that we've called our last noble, I say we pay Grim Grim old commando. Commander Commando a visit and see if he's finally crack a smile for us. Each of these Pokemon nobles became frenzied and now each of them has been quelled. We still have no explanation as to why this calamity befell us, but I'm glad to see it's put to an end. And to think that peace would be restored to Hisui by the land of a mysterious Rift-born helper. When tomorrow dawns, it will be a dawn on a world restored to normalcy. At long last, we will be able to return to our normal lives. Go nourish yourself with, at the Wallflower and allow yourself a good, long rest. Don't forget the Survey Corp's work is not over. It does not end until the people here can live in Hisui without fearing the Pokemon around us. But the mission's not over. We're just beginning. Thanks for this prize, sizable help. <laughs> oh, wait, that's Laventon. <laughs> Sorry, I did, meant to make fun of the old guy, not Laventon. Oh, if there's anything else you'd recommend, by all means, he, bring it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't remember how I did the old voice last time. Now that Avalog's quelled too, we can survey all over Hasui. I certainly had my reservations as to whether Avalog needed quelling. But if it means bringing calm to everyone, then I suppose we did the right thing. Still, even with all the nobles quelled, the rift doesn't seem to be closing, huh? Although, wait, if the rift were to disappear, would that mean Rusty'd be stuck here? I guess so. Well, our little team is certainly very practiced at investigating things by now. We'll look into the matter and find a solution, I've no doubt. And even if we don't, you'll always have a home here in Jubilee Village, Rusty. Now then, tomorrow's soon upon us, and it'll be another hard day of work at the Survey Corps. Don't forget what we've got our sights on. Nothing less than a completed Pokédex. With you around, that Pokédex is as good as complete. Hey, how about I tag along just as your assistant? Assistant? Come on now, Ray. Don't sell yourself short. You're a full-fledged member of the Survey Corps, too. Well, sure, I guess I am. In any case, time for a hearty meal and a heavy sleep. Why do my boy Benny like that? He's an old guy! He's, a, he's just an old dude! He's nothing wrong with him, he's just an old dude! He's a chill old guy who gives me food. He's awesome. But he definitely sounds like this. Bakum! Uh oh. Hmm. Disaster looming. That doesn't sound like a good chapter. <laughs>